everybody. What are we talking about next? Johnny Galecki beer. Did you not know that there's a beer named after you in Canada? I did not. It's happy, not too bitter. Want to try some? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, my next scientific question is why aren't I making any money off this? <laughs> <laughs> That's not science. But here is something that will help show a little taste of what's to come. Have you ever tried to tap an authentic German keg? Yeah, neither is this guy. So, sticking with the theme, we designed our next prank around brewing beer. But first, we need a volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Yep. Of course. Yeah. And what is your name? Enrique. Enrique, and what is your specialty? Physics. Physics, awesome. So I'm gonna have you put on some PPE, which is personal protective equipment. I'm gonna give you a bunch of gummy bears, and you're gonna actually drop these into that large Erlenmeyer flask. By the way, those are just plain old gummy bears. Yep. Drop them in, stand back. So, that is your classic chemical reaction, the sugar and the gummy bears. <laughs> are mixing with the oxygen released by the melted potassium chlorate, producing a combustion reaction. And that's the science of a chemical reaction, and that's what we'll be using for our prank. We set up a microbrewery loaded with hidden cameras. You don't have any experience with this? John plays the founder of this fictitious base brewing company. Tamara plays as project manager, and Jason's alongside these unsuspecting new hires who think they've been enlisted to reverse engineer a priceless craft beer. The beer itself, I mean, is the only one like it. This experiment is one brewed awakening. We at Base Brewing are working on the reverse engineering of a thousand-year-old Trappist ale. They sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars a bottle. <laughs> so we are going to sparingly give out samples. You'll smell them. You'll then start looking at the other aromas, whichever ones you think are there. You'll start building your own mixtures. And if we can get close, I'll throw your flavor profile into the batch of unflavored hops right here. If it's a match of the Travis Ale, you guys could be in for a big payday. We might be able to make history today. If you guys want to gear up, I will get you your samples. This bottle is over a thousand years old. <laughs> My boss Sean paid like a hundred thousand dollars for it, but it'll pay off if we can recreate the flavor and get it to market. And one of you will be a hero today. Do we get to taste that? You don't. We need your nose for this one. It's a lot more accurate than your tongue. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It smells like root beer. I just want to taste it. Let's see what you got. On oh, some gloves. Oh. Mm, too fruity. Yeah, that's um. It's a work in progress. Here. It's good. I, I mean, wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. That's really uncanny. I've never smelled anything this uncannily close. You must seem to be smelling the same thing that I was smelling. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sean, I'm the founder. Nice this to meet is Jerome you. Jerome and Jason. Uh, Jason. Giovanni. Oh, nice nice to, meet to meet you, you. Giovanni. Oh, smell this. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's, re that's really good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What What's your name again? Jerome. Jerome. Jerome, what's your background? I've done retail for most of my life, and I go out drinking with my friends, and drink I mean, I drink a lot of wine. St. Jerome. You don't know how long we've been working on that. I think I need to talk to my partners, because I think that might be the, the one. We'll name this batch after you. For real? Yeah. Jerome. Some people just got it in them. Some people just got it in them. 
Can't you imagine the Giovanni Trapisteo? Can I have some of your ale? Nah. This is uh, for members only. <laughs> Sean really liked your flavor profile, Giovanni. So let's add it to the hops and brew up a batch. We should add Jerome's flavor profile. We could make history today. Well, I'm happy to be part well, of This is going to be great. Let's get everything. This is going to be the day Sean's $100,000 investment pays off. Ready? You want to count it down? You want to do a drum roll or something? This is sure, like... let's do a drum roll. Okay, cool. Was that a hundred, like, was that really, like, that bottle was a lot of money? Did you do that? This is oh not my God. That was hard. Our hidden cameras caught these unsuspecting workers who got a little too hoppy. Their beer recipes exploded. Whoa! And the last drops of this priceless ale went down the drain. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now they think they're responsible for spilling thousands of dollars of centuries old suds. That bottle was a lot of money. Did you do that? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Is that what... Oh no! Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sean is gonna kill me. Oh yeah. Let's just no hide this. Hide, hide it. that, hide, hide that. It. It's hide that. Uh, <laughs> just hide it, just hide it. I don't want no parts of this. I ain't do none of that. Please. You guys gotta get rid of this before you're right. touching that. That's just get it. Just, no, just hide that. that. Like, just put it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Like, yeah, fill it back up. Was there a cork? Guys, I just talked to everybody at the Abbey. We're all really excited. The monks are so excited. This is gonna be great. What is going on? It is the Giovanni's Trappist Ale. What is going on here? It's okay, we can do it again. We just, where's the bottle? The bottle? Yeah, what, what the bottle? is this? What, where did, that was the last one. Where is it? We have bottles there. Yeah, yeah, there's... yeah we got, no, 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 you got, no, the camera, you know what I'm talking about. We, uh, they kind of spilled the rest of the trap of sale. You, do you realize how valuable that is? I know it was the last bottle. I'm, I'm sorry. Tamara, come here. We gotta talk. Uh, okay. Outside. We'll be right back. Don't touch anything. What did you do? What did I do? <laughs> She's I'm not in there. You, you, you well, guys mixed it. Sure. That's your name on the bucket. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not me. You were mixing something. And right. Did you mix up the lid? Should I go take my name off of it? No. I don't even want to go over there because I don't know if it's going to explode again. I'm like stuff's falling. I don't know. I put it the same way I put it when I did. What do we do? I, I don't know. Put your name on the bucket. You said it's all. I mean, she did it, right? <laughs> Are you okay? We had a little setback. A little setback? You did that. Yeah, I mean, you, you did that. Me, you guys, she told me to put the oxygen to the car. I ain't no scientist, but I ain't that stupid, neither. If I was to take one of these that's filled up like this and drop all of this in there, don't you think that would form? That's on y'all. No, I didn't do it. No, 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 no. You said this is all me. I'm not part of it. You were the taste of all this. You were the taste. And, and then you blowing up stuff and then blaming it on me, talking about it's my formula. It ain't my formula. I don't know what's going on here. Look like a root beer flow. I've never had that happen to me with beer. Like, does that happen inside the stomach or? He come back in here and what I heard from him, me and you ain't gonna be here no more. Is there anything left in that bottle? Screw Sean. Are you just gonna drink the whole thing? Like, but we weren't even alive. What? Hi, quick. Oh. I don't wanna be here anymore with that. Hey, Jerome. You were trying to help. I understand. I appreciate it. 
I have something to tell you. Huh? You're on TV. <laughs> You're on the science prank show. With the right mixtures, we can make cameras appear. Science! Oh my gosh. Okay, that really freaked me out. I was about to go and run out the door. Yeah, no wonder all these fragrances smell funny. I know I didn't make no beer that good. Y'all are just tricking me. I'm like, oh, they smell, they ain't smelling the same. Jerome was really excited about his career in beer making, wasn't he? And threw you under the bus like it was done. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> Making beer is not as violent as we made it look. See, that bucket contained hydrogen peroxide, uh, the same stuff you used to bleach your hair with when you were 13. Don't judge me. <laughs> and when our test subjects weren't looking, I actually switched their concoctions with a chemical called potassium iodide. When that mixes with hydrogen peroxide and a little soap, you get foam. Lots and lots of foam. Right, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Back soon with more amazing science, fresh pranks, and a whole lot of madness right here on Sidejinx.